to you by Hills Pet Nutrition. Vets number one choice. Now, there are a lot of constraints, I think, to being a wildlife vet. Um, again, in our culture, we, you know, there is this sort of sense of, you know, you've got to succeed, you've got to achieve, you've got to be somebody. And ego, ego is a big problem. In the conservation world, and I've worked in the conservation world a lot, it is actually constructed essentially by a lot of egos. So individuals who want their name to be associated with an animal, probably an elephant or a gorilla or a chimpanzee or something, and they build their careers on that, on that sort of ego. Again, that I think is quite dangerous because it takes a lot of resources, it puts a lot of energy into one species, or often you know, just a few individual animals, and doesn't deal with the population issues. So I think you know, I would encourage people who want to get into wildlife, put your ego away. You know, think about you know, what, what you want to do. You know, do what this guy does you know, in terms of his, you know, he's seen a bunch of animals, he's just doing it, you know, and not for his ego because he's concerned about it. This presentation is brought to you by Hills Pet Nutrition. Vets number one choice.